Is it on? Three, two, one. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> We're deciding where to put the camera for the best angle. Do it while I'm laughing. Uh, the brown and the white one. Oh, please don't go in there. I did. How does that look? It's going to slide right off the plate there. See, right there. <laughs> Hello, I'm still here in Florida. So today we're gonna to make, we call them Chili Willies. My very good friend, Luis Becerra, used to make these for his daughters on the skillet, but I've kind of variated it to put it in the oven. And we're gonna make it in a pie pan. It's like a quiche kind of Mexican eggy chingadero. So, but it's real quick and it travels well, it microwaves well, take it to, Potlucks, funerals, eat it for dinner at night, very good. So here we go. What we're gonna do is start with our pie plate. And we'll spray it. Because eggs have a tendency to stick. Now we take our eggs. I'm gonna start with six, just to see if I can put them in here. So you can have brown or white eggs. I have six eggs in here. And I'm gonna mix them up. And we're going to add some goodness, goodness into it. Peppers and onions. And so the eggs are mixed up. And I want to make it kind of red. Usually I'll layer it, but I found, you know, me quicker, better. So I'm going to put some tomato sauce in it because here they don't have any, I call it El Pato. It's at home and it's a hot tomato sauce. So I'm going to put tomato sauce because they don't have El Pato. You can do this. And I'm going to put... The hot sauce in with it to make it kind of hot but when it cooks together it's not hot this looks like a lot I would say put if you want it real hot put a tablespoon in and then I use Rotel tomatoes and it's uh, with diced chilies and I kind of took the the water out of it and I'm gonna put a little bit of these tomatoes in here and then we'll spread all these tomatoes and chilies along it while we make it. So, eggs are ready. See, it's just eggs and tomatoes and chilies. Now here's the fun part. Now you can have the kids help you make it. Because we use tortillas. That makes the crust. What you do is just pour them in there. Then all your egg goodness it's going to go around these and if you want to kind of put them on the edge or break them down if one stickens up too far but I'll say that looks good to me so I'm going to pour a little bit of egg on them and then we're going to put all the goodies in it I have smoked sausage that I have chopped up so we're going to put some smoked sausage on there and you can kind of tuck some under some chips if you want and all this is going to Come up through here and when I'm just about done I'll look and if I have to do a couple more eggs in there I will see I'm gonna kind of shove some of these sausages under here get them down in here you can make this in a big 9 by 13 a big roasting pan for 30 40 people be careful on aluminum or pans uh, I would wrap them in foil because it kind of sticks to the, the pan. And then I have some leftovers. We had stir fry last night, so we have a lot of leftovers. So I chopped up onions and bell peppers from our leftovers last night from our stir fry. Red, green uh, bell peppers and a little red onion. You can use regular onion. But really, you don't have to put anything in if you use the Rotel. And now I'm going to add some of these tomatoes in it with the chilies. I guess you could do this Italian. If you wanted Italian flavor, you could put Italian sausage. So here we go. How simple is that? Pretty simple, huh? And now all we need to do is pour the rest of the egg on top of it and it'll soak down and it'll look like, oh, there's nothing in here. But when it's cooking in the oven, it'll, it'll bake up through here. 
So let's see if I'm going to need more egg. Mm. Let's see, I have two eggs sitting here. Just happened to be a brown and a white one. Oh, please don't go in there. I did. The shell went in there. Always, always something, huh? I can't crack, at, crack eggs like I used to. I always end up getting a shell. So I have two more eggs. So I'll put a little bit. See, look at there. Redoing a little bit of tomato. A little bit of al pato. Or no, this one's tapatilla. How quick was that? So we're going to put a little bit more egg on there. So now actually we have eight eggs in here. And we're good to go. So all we want to do now is put this in the oven. I put it on 400 for the first 10 minutes to get it going. And then I put it down to 350. And we're not quite done yet because when this is nice, puffed up and looks done, then we're going to take some cheese and sprinkle on top. Don't put the cheese in until the very end. I'll see you in a little bit. While that's cooking, I'm going to just chop up some avocado and tomato. And let's see if this avocado is good. Looks pretty good. And these were waiting. I thought if this wasn't good, I might have to try this. These come out of my brother's yard. Look how big these things are. And these are little ones. But this hoss looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, come on. I need a spoon. Some people put uh, bell pepper, avocado onion, but I'm, I'm just going for the avocado and the tomato. And I'll put it in with my cabbage salsa. I can just do it this way. I kind of like big chunks. Two. Since it's all going the same place and everything's clean, I guess I'll just. And I've got a regular tomato. I didn't think you were filming. Salsa's ready. Is it on? Three, two, one. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> we're deciding where to put the camera for the best angle. Uh, the oven's over there. I'm going to go get it out so you can see it so we don't have to move the camera. So hold on. Almost done. See, the eggs came through. All we're going to do is put cheese on it and then stick it back in the oven until the cheese melts. It smells very good. Some ovens, it's been in the oven probably about, I started it at 400 for 10 minutes and it started coming up and I put it at 350 and for some reason, I have a convection oven at home so it took a little bit longer so I just cranked it back up to 400 again. And I just laid a piece of foil on top so our little chips wouldn't burn. Okay, I'll see you back in five minutes, just till the cheese melts. I can't wait. No, actually it's only been about three minutes and the cheese is melted, so let's take a look.
Lovely, lovely. How does that look? It's gonna slide right off the plate there. See, right there. <laughs> okay, I've never actually cut one right out of the oven, but I'm gonna try, so let's hope it does good. If not, I'll tell you to come back in a few minutes. See how the little tortilla chips stick out? Since I'm gonna try and make this pretty, I'm gonna cut it over here. And we went to an auction the other night and I bought a box of kitchen gadgets. And guess what was in it? Something we need. Let's see here. So I went through the box and I went, oh, guess what? Oh, I hope this comes out. Look at that, look at that. Nice and steaming. Let me put it here and it falls over. I can't do anything right today. Let's put it right here. Let me grab the plate. And here is our salsa, cabbage salsa we made the other day and I put tomatoes and avocados in it. So we're gonna put some right here. And I like it on top, so I'm gonna put a little bit on top. Oh, look there, I got avocados and a dab of sour cream. Oops. And I'll take a bite and show you how good it is, but it'll probably burn my mouth. And, so. and nothing goes better with this than a cocktail. So we're having tomato beers. And even though this looks like breakfast, we're having dinner. So it's 9.30 at night, having a few cocktails, and gonna eat some chili willies. So cheers to you. Are we done? Good night. Hurry, let's eat.